First, a word about a clinical evaluation of bleeding disorders. At the bedside, you can use family history, patient history, and physical examination to establish a differential diagnosis for a patient with a suspected bleeding disorder. From there, you can move to lab testing and bleeding disorders. And to evaluate the coagulation system fully, there are five common tests used for a comprehensive look at the coagulation system, starting with the prothrombin time. The PT measures the time it takes for plasma to clot when exposed to tissue factor. This is essentially an evaluation of the extrinsic and common pathways. Two, activated partial thromboplastin time, or the PTT. Now, this measures the time it takes for plasma to clot when mixed with substances that activate the intrinsic factors. Next, thrombin. The thrombin time measures the time it takes to convert fibrinogen to fibrin. Prolonged thrombin time reflects decrease or defective fibrinogen. Next is just plain old CBC and look at the platelet count. So that's an evaluation of the numerical or number of platelets. And the final test in this group of five is the platelet function analysis, so PFA. So the CBC gives you the number of platelets, and then a PFA test will give you an idea about how these platelets are functioning. So they look at both platelet adhesion and aggregation. A sixth test, the bleeding time, is really not used in clinical practice anymore.